Good morning, River Heights. How are we doing today? Hope all is well with you today on this interesting Monday. Dreary, going to be a little chilly today. Sweatshirt weather, you know. It's a bummer that it's this. Yeah. Welcome to Minnesota, right? Yeah. I mean, there there is ice still on some lakes. That's crazy to me. I just don't get that. But whatever. I mean, it is what it is, right? But it's good to see people here this morning. Good to see y'all here this morning. Um, yeah, great weekend. Great weekend. Love spending time with family. Yeah, love spending time with family. Church family. Love spending time with my real family too. Um, my my uh, blood family, but uh, love, love spending time with my church family. It's so great. Good morning, Tony. Uh, so happy Monday. I'm going to pray for us, and then we are going to get rolling here. So, Holy Spirit, just come. We just invite you to come today, God. Bring us your message today. Love on us today. Bless us today, God. As we hear your word and try to do your word, we just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Morning, Sue. Morning, Marianne and Paul. Ah, good to see everybody here this morning. Yeah. Um, so today, you know, just <clears throat> with, um, I know we're starting a new series at church um, in the Psalms for the next six weeks. <clears throat> Morning, Joe. And, you know, it's really the, the series is supposed to help people for the long haul of their walk with Christ. And, um, you know, that's, you know, we, we all want to do, we all want the long, we want the long haul. We want to, we want the long longevity of our Christian faith and, you know, and just really being able to live out what God has done inside of us and through us. And so God, or, so we just want to we just want to live that out long and long. We want to train people. We want to show people uh, who's inside of us, what Jesus means to us. Morning, Mary Beth. Um, and so today, you know, with that theme involved, uh, I, I've just been, I was just thinking about, you know, <clears throat> not Cherry Pepsi Zero. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about the can itself, the can. And just thinking about that can and this passage, <clears throat> this passage, I am going to do a little demonstration. So um, just looking at uh, um, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 um, to go along with our kind of our the longevity of, of Psalms. Um, I want to start in verse three. Um, it says this, if the good news we preach is hidden behind a veil, it is hidden only from people who are perishing. Satan, who is the God of this world, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. They're unable to see the glorious lights of the good news. They don't understand this message about the glory of Christ, who is the exact likeness of God. You see, we don't go around preaching about ourselves. We preach that Jesus Christ is Lord and we ourselves are your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who said, let there be light in the darkness, has made this light shine in our hearts so we can know the glory of God that is seen in the face of Jesus Christ. We now have this light shining in our hearts but we ourselves are like fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. This makes it clear that our great power is from God and not from ourselves. We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we're not destroyed. Through suffering, our bodies continue to share in the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be seen in our bodies. Yes, we live under constant danger of death 
because we serve Jesus so that the life of Jesus will be evident in our dying bodies. So we live in the face of death, but this has resulted in eternal life for you. But we continue to preach because we have the same kind of faith the psalmist had when he said, I believed in God, so I spoke. And we know that God who raised the Lord Jesus will also raise us with Jesus and present us to himself together with you. All of this is for your benefit. And as God's grace reaches more and more people, there'll be great thanksgiving and God will receive more and more glory. And I love this passage. <clears throat> and it's just made me think about just us as we, um, good morning, Patrick. Just as we are trying to live our daily lives as believers in Christ, as followers of Christ, just the things that come at us. And it seems like it's constant, right? It seems like it just, we're bombarded all the time. And so that's where this comes in. This pop can comes in because we are always thinking that, well, well first of all, here's the thing, is that we have Jesus. Morning, Janice. We have this love of Jesus inside of us, right? And it just pours out and it pours out and it pours out. Um, and it keeps pouring out. And even when we get crushed, when things happen, when stuff is going on, we still have that inside of us. And I love that because I love this pop can because it just shows that, you know, we're crushed on every side. It's a different form. It's, it's you know, but it's not destroyed. You know, we get bombarded, we get perplexed, we get anxious, we get down, we get angry, we get upset. And these things happen and sometimes we feel like there's no way out, but guess what? We're not destroyed. And guess what else? The same Jesus that poured out when we were the perfect can, the perfect shape, is the same Jesus that's in us now. Even as we are, even as we are perplexed, even as we are crushed, I mean, we're still standing. It's still standing up. And guess what else, guys? As we are perplexed, we're still pouring out. God is always with us. He's always for us. And I love that, that God is for us. He's not against us. And the Bible says that if God is for us, who can be against us? Absolutely nobody. They can try and they will try, but they're not, against, they're, they're not gonna win. They're not successful. The enemy is strong, but God is so much stronger. And I love that, that he even includes that guy, that, that Satan who has God of this world has blinded the minds who don't believe. And that's why we have to work at doing what we do as believers in Christ and that is share the good news. My, my, my challenge for us this week is to share the good news. And I think that was one of Pete's tips this week is to share the good news with somebody this week. And that's my challenge for us this week too, is share the good news. Have your mind be ready to, for God to just do something out of the ordinary in a, in a you know, extraordinary place that you're at and just share the good news with somebody. You know, we have, <clears throat> we have testimonies. Testimonies are just an experience that we have with God and, and, uh, and a testimony is sharing that experience that we've had with God. Um, and a lot of experiences can be receiving Jesus for the first time. They can be experiencing the Holy Spirit for the first time. But a testimony is just, it's, it's expressing something that has happened to us. And so we have multiple, multiple testimonies, not just one testimony of how Jesus came into our hearts and, and saved us. We have multiple testimonies. 
of how Jesus helped me through a, a, a certain situation, how Jesus helped me through a divorce, how Jesus helped me raise my kids. Where do I turn when, when I don't feel like there's anywhere to go? How do I get there? And we can tell people and share our testimony of how we got there. So I would just encourage us today, guys, that you might feel crushed. You might feel <laughs> like you're destroyed, but you're not destroyed. The life of Christ is inside of us. And yeah, we are. It says that, you know, we're fragile clay jars, but we contain a great treasure to be given to everyone. So that's my challenge this week is to share your treasure, share the gospel, share the good news with somebody this week. Let me pray for us. Holy Spirit, just come. We just thank you for our time here together today. God, you're an amazing God. And my friends that are online and that will watch this later, um, <clears throat> God, I just pray that you would just keep our minds attentive to who you are, attentive to what you're doing. Help us to see what you're doing and to experience uh, sharing the good news with those that need to hear it. God, just give us divine appointments, those people that need to hear your good news. Bring those to us this week. We just thank you in Jesus' name, amen. God, guys, God has put strength in all of us to make it through, to get through, and to help others see the good news. Guys, have a great week this week. Enjoy your Monday, even though it's a little icky out. Uh, it's gonna get warmer. This week is gonna get warmer, I promise. It's gonna happen. So guys, have a great week. We will see you on the flip side. Blessings.